County family is suing a private Christian Academy and its administrator. They claim their daughter was sexually assaulted by another student at a school camp event. But after she reported it to the administrators, they say she became a target inside the school. WAFF 48's Daquan Lee joins us live from outside the Madison County Courthouse. Daquan, in the lawsuit, it says the school did not properly address this situation. It also says the victim was subjected to retaliation for reporting this incident. Nolan, the lawsuit names Pineview Christian Academy and its administrator, Timothy Payne, as being negligent in their actions. In fact, the lawsuit claims that the retaliation went so far that it forced the parents of the victim to pull her and their siblings from the school. In a lawsuit filed against Pineview Christian Academy and its administrator, Timothy Payne, attorneys claim a 15-year-old student had been sexually assaulted by a 17-year-old student at a school-sponsored camp last September. The lawsuit says the school investigated the claim but found no evidence. The suit goes on to claim the girl was the victim of retaliation soon after and that parents voiced their complaints of retaliation to Payne multiple times, but nothing was done. We were just surprised at the way that the school chose to handle this um, very serious allegation. And we were disappointed in the way they had done that, and we feel like a law has been broken. The lawsuit says in November, Pineview's Board of Administration sent an email to the victim's parents proposing a, quote, agreed upon mutual separation that would have removed her and her siblings from the school. The victim's parents didn't agree to the terms and withdrew their students of their own choice. Finally, the lawsuit claims on the victim's final day of school, Payne approached the family with a, quote, separation agreement, but upon further review was a non-disclosure agreement absolving the school of all claims. What we've seen is some pretty deceptive behavior on their part to not only completely inappropriately address the allegations, very serious allegations of sexual assault, but then also to try and cover their tracks on the way out uh, with this family that was understandably di distraught and this young girl who was still uh, reeling from the effects of uh, what she had gone through. Plaintiff attorney Eric Artrip says the family isn't looking for a payday, rather just doing what's right by their daughter. She thinks that by bringing this case, she may make schools safer for children and young women in an educational setting, and I hope so too. Now, within the last hour, we've actually heard back from Pineview Administrator Tim Payne, and he said that they received the letter of the lawsuit today, and they have been in touch with their attorneys to answer questions about it in the coming days. Now, as we continue to learn more and get their official response, we'll be, f we'll be sure to update you both on air and online. Reporting live in Huntsville, Daquan Lee, 48, on your side.